our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Doctor, what is the best way to stay healthy? Having a good diet is probably the most important thing. It is very confusing to know what to eat. You need plenty of fruits and vegetables, small amounts of protein, and whole grains. Are there certain things that I should avoid? You shouldn't consume too much sugar or caffeine. Also, watch your intake of fatty food. After watching my diet, what else should I do? You need to stop smoking and make sure that you get 30 minutes of exercise every day. Can I have a glass of wine now and then? As long as you don't overdo it, a glass of wine a day should be okay. I went to the doctor yesterday. I beg your pardon? I said I had been to the doctor the day before. What did he say? He said I'd got the flu. Oh dear, what did he tell you to do? He told me to stay in bed for ten days. Ten days? Would you please repeat it again? Yes, ten days. I came here to get a chest x-ray. I will need you to take your clothes off from the waist up and put on the gown, leaving the opening in the back. What comes next? I will need you to face this glass plate right over here. Should I do anything else? Your arms need to be raised to shoulder height. Is this okay? So far, so good. How come you are walking away? I am not leaving. I just need you to take a really deep breath, hold it, and then let it out. Will I be finished then? You will be able to put your clothes on as soon as I have checked the film. What seems to be the problem? My stomach hurts, doctor. Has this been a problem before? Yes. For how long? I have had it on and off for the past three years. It's just gotten much worse these past two weeks. Do you only feel this way when your stomach is empty? After I've eaten, it goes away for a while. Do you feel nauseous? Yes, occasionally. Do you have regular bowel movements? I think so. Let me take a look at your abdomen. Lie down on your back and bend your knees up. Okay, relax all right. It seems like you have a duodenal ulcer, but we'll have to run some tests before I can be certain. You should get a good rest first and try not to strain your stomach too much. Is it serious? Not too serious but it'll take you some time to recover, so you'll need to be patient. Doctor, I feel much better now. Will I be Albie to go home sometime this week? That's good to hear. You've had an ideal recovery from your operation. We're going to send you home tomorrow. Do you think I can get back to work very soon? Don't be in such a hurry. I'm confident that you'll be completely recovered in four to six weeks. Is there anything I should do? You'd better have a good rest for a week. Be sure to have regular meals. Stay away from alcohol. Give up smoking at least a little while. Should I take some medicine? Yes, I'm going to give you some. Take one tablet of this medicine three times a day before meals. For that one, two tablets. 
And remember to come to the outpatient department for a consultation in two weeks, please. It's very kind of you. You're welcome. We wish you a speedy recovery. Goodbye. You don't look well at all. Are you sick? Yes, I don't feel well today. How long have you been feeling like this? Since the day before yesterday. How did you feel at the very beginning? It began with a shiver then I perspired a great deal. I see. You've caught a bad cold. I'll give you a prescription. Thank you, doctor. Good morning, doctor. I've been suffering very much from a toothache lately. Well, let me have a look. Will you sit down in this chair and open your mouth wide? I think one of the back ones at the top is giving me the most trouble. Yes, this big one is badly decayed. I'm afraid it must be taken out. Oh, I hate having teeth pulled out. Will it hurt? No need to worry. You won't feel anything at all. I'll give you an injection to stop the pain. Just wash your mouth out with this water, will you? Will it take long? No, it'll be over soon. Nurse, get some x-rays of our patient's molars. Then we'll start. Open your mouth wide. Don't be so nervous. Now open wider now stay. That's over. Is it out? Not yet, but it soon will be. Now open again please it's out. Look. Well, really. That was wonderful. I felt no pain at all. Thank you, doctor. You look kind of green. I don't feel so good. I am feeling sick to my stomach. Have you had anything to eat lately? I had fried shrimp and clams for lunch. Perhaps the food was bad. Perhaps, but I haven't felt well for a few days now. Has anything been upsetting you lately? My stress level is pretty much what as usually is. Do you think that maybe you are getting the flu? It seems to me like I may have caught a bug. Hello, how are you? Not too well. I'm just to the doctor. I haven't been feeling too well. Over the last few days. What have you got? A cough? A cold? That's the funny thing. I don't what's wrong with me. I just feel exhausted. Perhaps you've been working too hard. You do have a high pressure job. Maybe. I haven't been able to keep my food down either. That's unusual. Well, I'm sure the doctor will be able to prescribe something to make you well again. Dr. Jameson is very good. Yes, he is. I've made an appointment for 10 o'clock, so I'd better move along. Okay, hope you feel better soon. You should take it easy. I'm sure the doctor will prescribe rest, you know. Hey, Gary, great to see you again. Please have a seat. So tell me, what seems to be the problem? Thanks, Doc. I've got a really bad toothache. I can't eat anything, and look, my face is all swollen. I think it might be my wisdom tooth. Well, let's have a look. Open wide. Hmm, this doesn't look good. Well, it looks like you have a cavity and your crown is loose. We'll need to put in a filling before it gets any worse, and the crown probably needs to be refitted. I'm going to order some x-rays. Is it gonna hurt? No, not at all. Just lay back and relax.
Can you tell me where it hurts? I am so glad they called you. It feels like something is really wrong with my stomach. Does it hurt when I push here? It's mostly on my right side. Right here. Have you been feeling this way for a while? I started feeling kind of sick last night after dinner. But this morning the pain got really bad. Have you eaten anything unusual lately? No, not that I remember. We are going to take you to an emergency room right now. I will feel better when I know what the problem is. Thank you for the drugs. Excuse me. I need to refill this prescription. It says on the bottle here that you can have two refills. Yes, I need to refill it today. All right, I'm sorry, miss. According to our file, this prescription has already been refilled twice. I was worried about that. I couldn't remember if I had it refilled twice yet or not. Well, it looks like you have. You will need to see your doctor to get a new prescription. Listen, this is an emergency. I tried to call my doctor, but he is out of town. So I can't see him in time. I need this medicine. It is for skin condition. I've run out. Can you just refill it once more? I'm sorry, miss. We can't do it. We must follow the prescription. And this prescription has run out. But I need it. Please. Refill it for me just this once. I can go to the doctor around 10 days from now. Then I'll have another prescription. Miss, I understand your problem. But it is against the law for us to sell certain medicines without a prescription. It's the law. I can't do anything about it. We never sell medicine unless we have a proper prescription. Never. But I have a prescription. I just need more of it. A prescription must be valid. It cannot be an expired prescription. I'm sorry, miss. It's the law. You will have to find another doctor who will prescribe this for you. Oh, it will be so expensive. I have a special medical plan, and I can only see one doctor. It will cost me a lot of money to see another doctor. Miss. I just can't help you on this. I'm a pharmacist, not a doctor. And there are other customers I need to help now. I know it is frustrating when this happens. But there is nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. In Taiwan, it is much easier to get medicine when I need it. Maybe that's true. I don't know. But I'm sure in Taiwan you have prescriptions too. My doctor said that I need a chest x-ray. Just take your clothes off from the waist up and put this gown on, with the opening in the back. What should I do after that? You need to come over here and face this plate. Am I standing the right way? I will need your arms raised to shoulder height. Am I doing this the right way? Everything you are doing is perfect. Are you going to leave? I am just getting behind this screen. You need to take a deep breath, hold it, and then breathe normally. Is that all there is to it? You can get dressed as soon as the film is processed. We will be all done here. Hello. I would like to speak with Ryan. This is Ryan. How may I help you? Ryan, this is Malia, and I am afraid that I am feeling a bit under the weather. Do you know what the problem is? I have a horrible rash from poison oak. Have you had it a long time? The doctor said that I probably have had it a few days. Have you been using anything for it? 
I bought some over-the-counter lotion, and I am taking an antihistamine. That will probably take care of your symptoms. I'll see you tomorrow. What's wrong with you? You look pale. I'm not sure. I feel hot and cold. When did the trouble start? I was sick most of the night. It sounds like you are coming down with the flu. Let me take your temperature. Have I got a high fever? Yes, 38.7. Do you have a headache, chest or throat pain? Yes, I have. Now, let me have a look at you. I'd like to listen to your chest. Now breathe in, a deep breath. That's it cough, now again. I want to examine your throat, too. Open wide, say, ah. Ah, ah. Yes, it does look a bit sore. Let's take an x-ray of your chest and give you a few tests. All right, thanks. The test showed nothing wrong. A slight viral infection. What shall I do today? I'm giving you some antibiotics and aspirins. Take an aspirin when you've got a fever, and take one antibiotic capsule every four hours, and go home and rest in bed for two days. Drink plenty of water, then you'll feel better. Here's the prescription. What am I supposed to do with this plastic cup? That cup is for a urine sample. How, exactly, does this work? This particular test calls for you to urinate into the cup after you have urinated a little into the toilet. When I finish, what should I do then? You need to leave the cup in the cubby in the restroom, and the lab tech will get it from the other side. What is my doctor testing me for? If there are bacteria in your urine, it could mean an infection somewhere. Will I know the results right away? Your doctor will be contacting you with the results. Nurse, I am sure to die soon. They just don't tell me the truth, I know. But I don't think so. No one has ever said a word that you are to die, only yourself. That means you are not willing to die, right? Actually, you are recovering and what you imagine as your worry is slowing down the treatment. Many cases worse than yours turned out to be hopeful and successful. You must be confident. Your condition is much better physically, but a little by difficult mentally. The most important thing for you now is cooperation with us. Is what you said really true? Of course. I am a nurse and a nurse tells the truth. Thank you. Well, what's the matter with you? I've got a sore throat and my chest hurts. Have you got a headache? Yes, I ache all over. Are you coughing much? A little bit. Now, let me listen to your chest. Ah, you have a temperature. Breathe deeply. That's right. Well, don't worry, it's only a throat infection. There's nothing wrong with your lungs. And how is your appetite? It's gone completely. Show me your tongue, please. All right, stay in bed and keep yourself warm. I'll prescribe some pills for you to take. Is that all, doctor? Yes, you'll be better in a few days, I'm sure. Thank you, doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.